No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. I have to. No. I have to. I'm trying to make a video! Hey! What the f- What are you doing? All right, guys, listen. The Stanley Parable has been a game that I have meant to play, honestly, since the first time I ever heard about it. I forget when this game came out, but I want to say it was out before I even started my YouTube channel. I always put it off. I never got around to it. And for whatever reason, the Ultra Deluxe version just dropped like a few days ago, and I've got a new opportunity to jump on this game and check it out for the first time, all right? So I know a lot of people have seen this game. I think there's new stuff in the Ultra Deluxe version, but I haven't seen this game at all. I know zero about it. So you're going to catch my first reactions, my first thoughts of the game. So if you've seen it before, prepare to enjoy my first reactions, all right? Because the end is never... I couldn't read that, all right? How fast do you this think I can... This is the story of a man named Stanley. Okay. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Sounds like me. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk. Yep, YouTube comments. Him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul renting, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. Let's go, Stanley! And Stanley was happy. The end. You know what, Stanley Parable, best game and I've ever one played. Day, something oh. very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. <gasps> Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Did he? What if I don't? Huh? Actually, I want to turn this up just a little bit. Because I want to hear him a little bit better. Let's crank it. Let's do main volume 100. What if I don't leave? Huh? You got something to say if I don't leave? Stanley, you keep a shitty office. Let me just go ahead and tell you. I hate Mondays. Well... Luckily today is what today is it today? Sunday? Yeah. Alright, here we go. Hello? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Or perhaps it's Sunday and I'm at work on the wrong day. Me meeting room? Uh This is about the most Confusing ass office. I guess I go where the doors are open, huh? Hello? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Did he? <clears throat> this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge <laughs> first, just to admire yes, it. Yes, I did! As a matter of fact, it's exact. I want to see if there's a, a soda or a, a snack, you know? Ah, yes. Truly a room worth admiring. Ah, yes. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Drink it? Don't say drink, bitch. I'm thirsty. I'm trying to get a drink. All right. All right, narrator. Yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. Okay, the room so shut up! But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Did he? You know, my entire objective in this game is going to be to fuck with the narrator. Stanley was so bad at following directions, <laughs> it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. <laughs> oh, shit. 
What the hell is going on out here, huh? Holy shit! This place is massive. Do not jump from the cargo lift while it's in motion. We'll cause death. Hmm. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. No. Oh. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. Oh, you think so? There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Who? Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. This is it, Stanley. Who? Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Who, Mom? Mother? Um. Oh. What the That's fuck? her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. Who? What if the hell is going on? If you place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. I don't know who this is. Come on, unplug this son of a bitch. As Stanley picked up the phone, a white light engulfed him, filling him not just with radiance. But I didn't with pick up hope. the phone. Hope what are we talking about? Life reunited. One. Wait. Oh goodness. Stanley, did you just <laughs> unplug the phone? <laughs> yes. No, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually. Chose incorrectly. I didn't even know that was possible. Listen, you'd be surprised. Check. You would be surprised. No, it's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? What? You're not Stanley. You're oh. a real person. What? <sighs> I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Listen, well, I, just... I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision making in the real world. What are you doing? Please hey! observe this helpful instruction. I'll pick up the phone, Mom! I'm sorry. Choice. It's the best part of being a real person. <laughs> but if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. Oh my god. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Rupert has a choice. He could invent a machine that eliminates food shortages across the world to make life better for all people. Oh, a cricket burger. Or he could spend years of hard work forgetting how to read. <laughs> Which choice would you make? Forget Remember how to read. that unlike here, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. <laughs> Turn to a partner and practice saying, My goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. <laughs> what? Excellent. What? Making choices on a regular basis what is the, the best is part a of a healthy decision-making process. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally... If you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant <laughs> and the feeling should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Ah, uh, well, welcome back. Don't you say what I say? You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. But not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. 
Excuse me? Yo, this game is about to get wild. Hello? Can we get on this? Now that we know your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform Aww. and dying. Imagine the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. I was gonna do that it. That story would make no sense at all. I was gonna do it if we they let me. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. Hmm. Can I jump off right here? Shit! Damn it. Where you want me to go? Oh, you want me to go that way? Can I go a different way? Hmm. Hmm. Yo, I think I fucked the game up straight out the gate. Right? Now, clearly they had to have an idea that somebody would say to hell with what you're supposed to do in this game, right? Almost there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. Just take the door on the left. Well, I can't do anything else. Okay. All right. All I want to do is disobey. Like, you have turned me... Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. Okay. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. Easy. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Ah. No! <laughs> Why did you do that? <laughs> Quickly, hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. Yo, I have fucked this game up. <laughs> Holy shit! Even the sound's fucking up. Oh god, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm back. I'm gonna go back in here. All right. So it's forcing me now. I don't have an option. I don't have. Don't have a choice. We have to go in the correct door now. Ready? You happy? Hello? Narrator? Oh, it's ruined. <laughs> I can't believe after everything we talked about that you... My story, you've destroyed my work! Why? For what? What did you get out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage. It, well, it's worthless. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. Oh, I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? I don't know. What's the answer? What do I do? What do I do? What do I... No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. I have to. No. I have to. I'm trying to make a video! Hey! What the f... What are you doing? Well... Oh my god! Pile of rubbish Help! with you, you who thought you were so clever. Now, look where we are. I'm sorry, my entire game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine, and you run it into the ground. Uh, uh, you what did you think that would be funny? Yes, you just had to see. Yes, didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? Kind of actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for I, it. I'm sorry! That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? That there's a world outside of you. Listen. You're a child. Hey! You need to watch uh -oh. your damn tone with me. 
My story. Well, I got a story for you. Once upon a time, if you'd you just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was yeah. a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. That sounds. It would have been so perfect. I worked so hard. You gonna let me it. talk? I tried so hard to. Hey. <clears throat> what happened? Behave exactly as Stanley would. What? That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure what you'll be fuck? up to the task. Back? Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. Hell no! All right. After you talk <clears> all that <throat> shit, open this fucking door. When Stanley came open to a it. set of two open doors, open this fucking door. he entered the door on his left. Ah! That's right, no. bitch! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back. Behave exactly as Stanley. Oh God, it's pissed. That means choosing responsibly no! and always putting no! the story first. Open this I'm fucking quite door. I'm sure you'll be up to the task. Talk Just shit follow to me. my lead, and I you'll got a be story. fine. What's the point of time? You told me what to when do. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left, and I did whatever the fuck I wanted to do. No, why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back. Okay, got it. Okay, behave game. Exactly as I, get, I got it now. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. All right. God damn it. Are you happy? Huh? You get off your little fucking hissy fit? Huh? Your little pity party? Your little wet panty parade? Let's relax here, fella. Oh, look, it's a boardroom. It's perfectly yeah, wonderful. There's no single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. How to solve a dispute with a coworker? Let it ball up inside of you. Take it out passively aggressively on other coworkers. Res <clears throat> that's a good that's a good call. If you ever cut the slot off again when I'm trying to read. Which one is me? Huh? Which one's me? I know these guys got beards. Number one. <laughs> what the fuck? How does that work? I want to see how to not get fired. Read it which charts on the same slide to pick the same information. <laughs> Oh, these are so true. Rates of increase in graphs per slide. <laughs> the boss appreciation minute. Okay, your boss appreciation minute worksheet. Circle the top 20 things you love most about your boss. Okay. Solving it. Better find yourself in a company than there's an employee. Uh, takes two people to start a fight, and right now you're both of them. What do you drink? Okay, I'm leaving. <gasps> a boat. How do I not get fired? Hey, thank you. Talk less. Do unbelievably amazing work all the time, every day, with no expectation of a promotion or recognition. Don't get fired. You know what? That is good advice. Good advice. Yeah. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. I cannot wait to dis... <laughs> I cannot wait to, uh... Disappoint this guy again. What? This is a nice-ass place. Yo, he has got a nice fucking office. Let's be real. Can I go back here? Hmm. Okay. What the fuck kind of- Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Nope. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this <gasps> until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. Oh, and this was in front of the door. He knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Night Shark. Stanley had been trained never to speak up, but now he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. Night he Shark. He drew a sharp God. breath. Shut up! And then spoke the code. God damn it, I can't even make a video because this bitch won't quit talking. Hello? 
Is it hello? Motherfucker! <clears throat> Open it! Stanley spoke the code. Night Shark 115. He spoke it into the receiver right there on the wall. Okay, clicking the button. Uh, hello, whoever's in here. I know where you live. All right, I, I know what school your children I'm sorry, go to. Is there a problem? Yes. You didn't mishear me, did you? If you don't please shut speak the code into the receiver. Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. Listen, if anyone's in there, do you know who the narrator is? I will help you kill him. All right. Okay, fine. You're not gonna do it. You're goddamn but you right, know I'm what? not. It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. Yeah, that's right. I asked you for this one single thing for your respect. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? I you had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. I you did. You could have done whatever the hell you <laughs> wanted over there. Why did you come this way? Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. Hey! You Again? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, what? he entered the door on his left. What the fuck is going on? Hello? Stanley? Hello? Are you... Am I you? Is everything okay? Are you up here? Where are you at? Stanley, please. I... I need you to make a choice. The end. I need you to walk through the door. What? Are you listening to me? Can you hear me? I'll beat the game over. Is everything all right? Are you kidding? Stanley, this is important. The story needs you. It needs you to make a decision. It cannot exist without you. Do you understand? What did I do? Me? Whatever choice you make is just fine. They're both correct. You cannot be wrong here. We can work together. <laughs> I'll accept whatever you do. I simply need you to take that step forward. Please. He is panicking. Choose. Yeah, that's right, bitch. Do yeah, you need me, huh? Anything. Oh, he sounds so it's sad. More important than you can ever know. I need this. Oh. The story needs it. So, you hear me? Are you there? Are you listening to this, Stanley? Are you there? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Fuck off. It's okay. I can wait. Yeah, damn right. You need time to decide. Time to make sure your choice is correct. That is the best choice. That's all right. I'll wait for you to decide what's the right thing to do. Take as much time as you need. Hello? happened all right i'm going to assume that this is the type of game that has like 50 fucking endings all right otherwise i just speed ran this game in record time i'm not stepping a foot outside this room because i feel like i mean i gotta end the video on the ending right we'll, we'll start again we'll go through again and try to make different choices Huh. <laughs> yeah. Y'all let me know if this game has multiple endings or if I just literally broke it. Um, that was the honestly that last little monologue was the saddest shit I've ever heard. I kind of feel bad for the narrator. Next time, next time we'll listen to him, all right? Next time we'll do what he says. All right, I, I hate to disappoint the guy twice in a row. All right, well, time to log off. See if I remember my password. What was it? Donkey Shark 115? <laughs> Some shit. Ah, yes. Good old Donkey Shark. Yeah. Watching cartoons up in my room. Watching cartoons up in my room. Yeah. Watching cartoons up in my room. Watching cartoons up in my room. Yeah. Watching cartoons up in my room. Watching cartoons up in my room. Yeah. Watching cartoons up in my room.